Today we'll look into the enemy turret targeting the ally minions. You can see the minions walking towards the turret, and once they are within attack range of the turret, it will cast a line renderer to the ally minions based on which minion is closer and shoot a projectile. It will repeat this process, targeting the closest minion every time. If you guys want the project file, you can go to the Patreon and get it there alongside the two MOBA series. With that being said, let's dive right into the video. Looking at our startup scene, I first changed the tag on both the minion and super minion to a tag called ally minion. We will use this to reference it in the script later on. I also have two empty game objects as a child of the enemy tower. One for the spawn point for the projectile and the other one is a line renderer. There's not much change I added to the line renderer besides making it super thin. In the enemy tower game object, I just have a script attached to it that will make it functional, but we'll get into that later on. Last but not least, I have a projectile prefab, a simple sphere game object with a script attached to it called projectile. We'll open up this script and see what's inside. I have a public float speed which is set to 10 and a private transform called target. The first method I have is a public void called seek which will store a transform. And this is pretty much what we will call in the enemy tower script to find our ally minions. With the update method, it will do some checks if the target is null, it will just destroy itself. Other than that, the projectile will fly towards the ally minion and call a hit target method. The hit target method is kind of the same as an on collision enter. You can just call the damage function and destroy the game object. But in the on collision enter method, you can call the damage function here as well. But for now, it will just destroy the game object completely. I think either way can work depending on what you feel like. I ended up just putting them both in. Going back into Unity, I'll open the enemy tower script and look into how I got it working. These are the variables we'll need. A public float called attack range, which is set to 5. A public float called attack cooldown, or call it attack speed, which is set to 2. A public game object that stores the projectile prefab. A transform for the spawn point game object. And the line renderer game object we had earlier in the scene. To finish off, we'll get a private float called next attack time, and another private game object called current target. Opening up the update method, all it's doing here is checking if there's no target in range of the turret or keep trying to find a new target. This is done by calling a find new target method. After, we'll also call the line render method to keep it up to date with what minion the turret is currently targeting. The last thing we're constantly checking in the update method is to see if the turret can attack and setting its next attack time based on the cooldown. We'll also slap in the attack current target method here. For the find new target method, Here's where we'll be finding the game objects with the tag ally minion. It's then checking for each game object tag that are tagged ally minion, and if they are within the range of the enemy tower, they'll be considered as a target. Moving on to the next method, all this does is that if there is a current target in range from the tower, it will enable the line render game object. It's also setting the position from the spawn point game object to the target that it's currently locked onto. Other than that, it will disable the line renderer game object completely. The last method we need to make this tower functional is an attack current target. This is pretty much straightforward. We'll just instantiate the projectile prefab that we had earlier to the spawn point game object and set the seek transform method to the current target which we have in this script. That is all that is needed for the scripts. Back in Unity, these are the current settings I have for the enemy tower script. The attack range is set to 10, the attack cooldown is set to 3, and lastly, dragging the projectile prefab into the slot as well as the projectile spawn point and the line renderer game object. When I press play, you'll see the minions walk towards the enemy tower, and once they are within the range, the tower will shoot a line renderer to the targeted enemy and fire a projectile. Obviously, you can implement a health function where instead of destroying it immediately, the minions will take damage first before getting destroyed, but for testing purposes, I think this works fine. That is pretty much all for this video. If you do want the project, you can get it by subscribing to my Patreon down below in the description alongside the rest of the mobile project files. If you have any questions, suggestions, or just want to join my community, my Discord will also be down in the description. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!